All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, I'm trying to think of something sexy to make this tutorial, but it's going to be basic. <laughs> and it's probably why you would export out something like a normal pass inside of Blender. Now, the main reason you would do this, or that I would do it, is to quickly relight an object, or to control the lighting just a little bit more. Now, things have moved on since you had a normal pass. You can obviously do things like light groups and stuff like this now, but it pretty much works. So I have this object in the scene and I have no lights in the scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the view layers and I'm going to enable the normal pass. And just as a kind of extra bonus, I'm going to come down to the light and I'm going to enable the direct diffuse color light and I'll quickly hit F12 to render. Let's quickly jump into the view layers. And we can check these out. So we have this normal map pass, pretty cool. And we have this diffuse color light pass. So there's no lighting on it, it's pretty much diffuse. So next thing I can do is I'll jump into the compositor. Now it's always good practice to check your normals just to make sure the face orientation is correct. If you don't know how to do this, you can go to the overlays up here in the top right and you can enable face orientation. And if it's red, it means it's backwards or it's inverted. So I'll quickly jump back into the compositor. I'll go to use nodes and you can see all our render layers here. So we have alpha, normal and a diffuse color. So as always, let's quickly drop down a viewer node. And I'll just quickly plug the normal into the viewer just to get an idea of what we're doing here. Now what I can now do is drop down like a normal node. Now if you have the normals, it'll just be blue. So you want to take the dot. And if I move this sphere around, you'll notice that I can actually start to control the lighting. So one thing we can do is we can take this diffuse color and kind of mix it with this. So let's add in something like a mixer. So let's add in a mix color. And let's just take the image and we'll put this on into the second one and we'll take the diffuse color. And let's just do something like a soft light. And you can see that we can start to control the fall off of the light. Now if you need a little bit more control, we can actually separate this channel. So I'm going to delete this normal node and I'll delete this. And let's just quickly add in a separate color. So we can take the normal and we can use the red value for example. I think red goes from left to right, and I think green is depth, and I believe I believe blue is top to bottom. Now we can actually double check this by just quickly dropping in a color ramp, and let's squeeze these values. Pretty cool. So that's pretty much one reason why you would use something like a normal pass. Uh, I'm not a compositor, but I think this is why you would use it anyway. Uh, if there's anything I've done wrong, or if you'll get any comments, please stick them down below. Educate other users. Anyway, you know what to do. Take care.